hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel this video is about how to make the front look as natural as possible okay let's care for her hair before we start with the braid pattern i'm using this nourishing hair cream and this haitian castor oil from amalise.com um, this is a black owned business i'll make sure i link her products in the description box i like i really like uh the haitian castor oil you can actually smell the difference between her castor oil and other people's castor oil well i've used a bunch of them but hers actually you can smell the authenticity of her oil uh, check the description box for that right here i am doing the the braid pattern uh, she doesn't have a big head, so normally you would need just eight braids going straight back for this hair because this hair is uh, it's has a lot of volume. Uh, her, I'm just gonna do uh, ten cornrows up front, and then I'll link them in the back as eight. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few minutes. I am basically done here with the braid pattern here I'm just uh, you can use the latch hook to seal this or you can actually sew it right here I'm using the castor oil again on her scalp I, I used it for her hair now I make sure I'm making sure that her scalp has enough of it again I'll link this product in the description box this is the hair that I'm using 14 inches color 1b the hair is from trendy tresses uh, it's also a black owned business i'll make sure i link the hair in the description box we are using goddess curl i've used hair from this company before they have great hair for crochet braid they have different curl patterns uh once i link the hair in the description box you can actually go to the website and see what else they have they have different curl patterns i'm using from three to four packs in this video see how the hair looks like it's very dense it's a lot of hair once you start splitting it you get a lot of hair Just look at me, want to make me do something, I'm out of it. And I only took this 
Okay, now that I'm done installing her hair, now let's make the front look as natural as possible. This is the right comb for it. My comb is getting bad. I got it from Nia's, Niana's natural hair.com. I'll make sure I link her in the description box. She has the best comb for this part right here. You need a specific comb to back comb it. And she has that comb. I'll make sure I link her in the description box. What you basically do you just use the comb and back comb the front. If the front is too long, you can use a razor and then trim a little bit just so, so it can be short enough and then back comb it. And this is the end result of it. I'm gonna show you what, how I do do it again uh, on the other side. See right here, I just back comb it and push it. That's how you create the natural look for the front. As you can see, the one that I haven't back comb yet, see how they look super neat? And you can actually see where the cornrow is. Once you back comb it like that using this specific comb, you won't see that anymore. We are basically done here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. If you want to see something else, please leave it in the comment section below. Leave some suggestion. I appreciate you for supporting this channel. It's going to be five years, May 21st. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, like this video if it was helpful and I'll see you on my next one.